Yeah, and I love this kind of like patterning and striping here. I think this is really nice. How do, what do you think about this piece? Um, well, I, these were, this was like um, hands holding water, and then this was meant to be like water dripping down from the hands. And I kind of, I love too that this is a little bit more abstract, that it's not hyper literal. Um, that's always really exciting to me because I love this piece. And then I really like this piece also, and this also has kind of that mixture of like glam dangerousness, if you think about it that way, because the portrait is so pristine and so like shiny and almost like elasticine and like lovely. And then you have all of these marks over it, um, where it almost feels like someone going through a yearbook and like crossing out. Spaces, right? There's something kind of like aggressive about it that works in contrast to how perfectly rendered this is. And I really like, again, like duality in the work. I think you're playing with that really well. And then moving to pieces like this, can you actually... This is probably my one of my best pieces right now, but it's not finished. Okay, so that's okay. I'm not gonna know the difference. All right, so I have this one right now. And I'm working on. Is this you? Yeah, it's me. <laughs> Yeah, the goal is that they learn something. You know, they walk out of here going, I need to do this better. Mm -hmm. Or I'm doing this really well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So those are the pieces. So, like the School of the Art Institute is like, well, these are really nice pieces. We don't need these technical pieces. We need conceptual pieces. And then they'll walk to a different school and they'll say, we want these technical pieces. And we, so they start to get an idea of what each school wants mm -hmm. in their portfolios.